felt pure anxiety and excitement at the same time? Well today I am feeling that because my friend Brock, former professional football player but more importantly car lover, is letting me drive in his 7 to 800 horsepower Cobra today. Now as many of you know, Cobras don't exactly have all the aids and protective things that normal human beings require. In fact, this car weighs 23 to 2400 pounds, so when you combine that power to weight, well, traction might be an issue. And not only that, he just texted me and said, well, why don't you bring some driving shoes, because I might just let you drive it. Damn, dude, that thing's loud. Is that a new hybrid? <laughs> Brock right now in front of his outrageous Cobra. I told you already, it's a scary car, but let's just go over the safety standards first. No seat belts, no ABS, no roll cage. What else am I missing? No traction control. No traction control, very important. Um, and of course the traction's very important because it has around 700 horsepower and it weighs, as I said, like 2,400 pounds. So the power to weight is frightening. And right now, well, we're about to go for a ride. All right, guys, testament to not screwing around with this exhaust. Well, here's the evidence of messing up. Exhaust mark there, and another one on there, but at least he's symmetrical. Can I get a ride? Cooper? Hold up. Oh. There we go. Very sweet of the exhaust and warning sticker. You said it wasn't safe. Now letting me drive this thing. Uh, as I said, the fastest car I've ever driven in was a Huracan with 600 horsepower. This is a lot more and it's a lot lighter. And for some reason, he's letting me drive it. <laughs> I don't wanna burn my leg on this exhaust. <laughs> and I barely fit in. You actually, so what, what did you do to make it smaller in here again? So you push this. Padding out of the seat. Okay. Smaller steering wheel. Okay. Cluster all the way forward. Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. This is scary. <laughs> this thing is so intimidating. My foot doesn't exactly fit in there, which is tricky. That's why I said you got <laughs> driving shoes. These are my driving shoes. <laughs>
that like buy motorcycles and say that's hard to go back to cars. I feel like this isn't a car. Like you buy a Cobra, how do you go back to a car? It's hard. Thank you to Brock for making a dream that I didn't even know I had come true. Uh, I mean, this has to be the coolest experience I've ever had in a car. I just said to him that I've, you know, I've driven in a Huracan, which is such a fast car, and I drove even faster in that, but this was way more fun, and it's mainly due to the fact that it's so visceral. The point that we made when we were talking was, you know, cars are always going to get faster, you know, you're going to have electric, you're going to have hybrid, things like that, but at the end of the day, it needs to feel fast, and it needs to be visceral to feel fast, and you aren't going to get cars like this anymore. My respect for the Cobra is even greater than it was before, and I mean, now I need one. Thank you so much, Brock, I really appreciate it. No Such problem, a cool brother. experience. If you guys wanna see more of my content, please subscribe, and don't forget to like. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. <laughs>